Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In today's video, we're going to be learning all about structures in C. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. So now, without any further delay, let's begin. This session will help you to understand what a structure is in C. Then, let's understand the general syntax of structure declaration. After that, assigning members of the structure in C. Later, structure initialization and finally structure within structure. Now let's begin by understanding what a structure is in C. As we all know, array is a collection of elements of the same data type. Similarly, a structure is a collection of elements with the same or different data types. For example, unlike an array, a structure can have members of different data types like int, float, char, etc. Now let's have a look at structure declaration in C. We use the struct keyword before the tag name to define a structure. Tag name is nothing but a structure name. Whatever is declared inside the struct curly brackets are members of the structure. Once the members are declared, the variable has to be created to access the members of the structure. Now let's see the example. We have struct keyword followed by student as a tag name, then a list of structure members. And they are name of type char, roll number and age of type int, and S1 as a structure variable. We can have a list of structure variables. Another way of structure declaration is, we can declare structure variable outside the curly brackets by using struct keyword followed by a tag name and then declare variable list. For example, struct keyword, then student tag name and S1 as a variable name. In structures in C programming, we cannot assign values during the definition of a structure. It indicates the wrong way to the declaration. So now, let us try to understand the right way of assigning values to the structure members in C. To assign values to all the members of a structure and access, we use dot operator, also known as a period operator. Look at the syntax below to clearly understand how we access and assign the structure members. First, the structure variables followed by the dot operator and structure members. For example, s1 dot roll number is equal to 34, s1 dot age is equal to 18, and we make use of the string function strcpy to copy the name. Next, we have structure initialization in C. We can also initialize the structure variable. And to initialize, we can directly assign values of all the structure members inside the curly brackets with an assignment operator. For example, struct student s1 is equal to inside the curly brackets enter the value separated by comma operator. In this particular example, name is John, the roll number is 22 and the age is 18. Now that we know how to declare and initialize structure variables in C, let's see how the structure elements are stored in the memory. As we know, char takes one byte of memory space. So, according to the size of the string, the characters will occupy in the memory. In structures, the memory is created once the structure variable is declared. As per this example, s1.name is a string. So that memory will be allocated and its base address will be obtained. For the s1 variable, the total memory allocated is 8 bytes. That is, 5 bytes for s1.name. 2 bytes for s1.roll number and 2 bytes for s1.h. So I think you got a good understanding of how memory is allocated for the structure elements. Okay, so let us move on to the structure within structure in C. When a structure contains another structure as a member, it is known as a nested structure or structure within a structure. For example, let's consider a structure named student and another structure name as a date. In this example, a structure date acts a member. So, a structure date has its own members and they are date, month and year of type int. And structure variable for date is dot. And the structure variable is initialized for both the members of the structure. That is name, admission number, age, date, month and year. Now let's execute a simple structure program. If getting your learning started is half the battle, 
What if you could do that for free? Visit Skill Up by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. As you can see, in this particular program using the structure, we have initialized the variables and trying to print the values. And by using the dot operator, we are accessing the members of a structure. So now let's run it. And here we got an output, name, roll number and age of a student structure. In our next program using structure, we are using another way to declare variable and initialize the structure members. As you can see, we have declared variable outside the structure curly bracket. And inside the main function, we have initialized the structure members. So now let's run the program. So here we got the same output. So with this, we have come to the end of this session on the structures in C programming. I hope this session was informative and interesting. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.